Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Dave from Apple Unlimited, and today what I thought I could show you is to how to run on a Mac any Nintendo 3DS game uh, for free. So, here we go. Uh, first thing you want to do is I have a bundled uh, download bundle down below. You're going to click on that, download that. Uh, that's going to be uh, the emulator called Citra. Uh, so let me show you how to install that first. Um, I have that right here. Okay, so it's just going to be a, a regular DMG install file. Um, the one I have is most current as of today. Um, if you want to check for an update, you can do it through the software, or I also have the link to where to download the newest version. Um, either one's fine. Either one's fine. Um, so if it says this right here cannot be opened, uh, don't worry. That's normal, depending on which version of uh, OS you're on. Just go to Preferences, Security, and it should have right here. Uh, just tell it to open it anyway. That's all you gotta do. And watch out, these two are backwards. So go to Open, and here it is. Um, here's your Install Wizard. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, accept it. Continue. Install. Uh, doesn't take very long to install. And this is the emulator we're going to use. Uh, the reason why I wanted to figure all this stuff out, and I did, um, is because I bought uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time, the, uh, the remake, the 3D remake, on launch day. I've never owned a 3DS. Um, I bought it not even owning one. Um, I just wanted to have it, you know. Um, and then I thought, well, I want to play it, but I don't want to play it on a tiny little screen. So there's a way I could play it uh, either on my iMac, which is 5K, or um, on a big 1080, you know, 55-inch TV. That'd be awesome. Uh, so after I show you how to install it, I'm going to test both and see which one looks better. Um, I did already try the iMac, and it does look awesome. <laughs> so that's good news. It's not just a tiny little screen, and it's not when you blow it up, it's not going to look like crap, like pixelated. Uh, so that's good also. Okay, so let's see. So this is uh, ready to open. What I can do is I can take it and bring it into my applications. Uh, once it's there, actually here it is. Um, go to Nightly and the one that says QT the trick QT, that's the one you, you want to drag to your to your dock. Okay. Uh, after you do that, you can close this out. Get rid of all that. Um, and okay, so now I want to show you how to download the ROMs. Um, it's not obvious. One thing you have to make sure that all the files are decrypted. That just means that it's going to work with it. If it's not decrypted, it's not going to work. That's all it is. Um, <laughs> and the file extension is a .3ds, which is cool. Okay, so also included in the bundle is going to be a torrent file. Um, all that is is a tiny little file, um, and it uses a different uses a torrent program, uh, which my favorite is uTorrent. Um, I don't have that on this computer, so I'm going to get it real fast for you, just to show you how easy it is. Uh, uTorrent. Dot com. There we go. Let's go to utorrent.com. Go to free download. There it goes. Um, you have to install that also. This is a tiny little program. Um, if you don't know what torrents are, it's a way of downloading things um, that are big files, but they break up the file into little parts. So you download little chunks at a time from all over the place. Okay, so now that I've downloaded and installed uTorrent, um, in the bundle I gave you there's going to be one little torrent file. It's a tiny, tiny little file, about the size of an email. You can open that up, and it's going to go straight to uTorrent. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, the cool thing about this is that there's 250 different 3DS games uh, you can download if you want. Uh, that's going to be a total of 168 gigs 
uh, which you probably don't want to do that. Of course you can if you want. It might take about a week to download. <laughs> but of course you can do it. Um, if you just want to go through all of them and deselect the ones you don't want, leaving the ones you do want. Uh, once you do that, it's going to take a little while to go through the list. Once you do that, just click OK. And the files will start downloading. It uh, doesn't matter how fast your internet is. There's a, a limit, um, a speed limit to it. So it's going to take forever, uh, which kind of sucks. Uh, you might want to start this up, go to bed, wake up the next morning and have it finished. Uh, that kind of thing. It might take several, several hours. Uh, so be advised for that. But once you have the, uh, the games, you can keep them forever, right? Um, so this is my collection of games. Um, let's go ahead and show you how to load the games. Uh, first thing I want to do is go down to Citra, open that up, and it uses uh, it uses uh, terminal in the background uh, to help run. Don't worry about that. Just leave it there. That's fine. Uh, here it is. You go to Citra. Uh, you can go to preferences. Let me show you the preferences first. Um, one of my thoughts is I really, really wanted to play Ocarina of Time 3D on a big screen uh, so I can enjoy the updated graphics uh, with a with a traditional N64 controller. Uh, but of course, this is not USB compatible. So I have ordered one off eBay. It was about $12 free shipping. That's not bad. Um, so I will get to play it um, on a N64 controller to kind of feel like the real thing. Um, but in the meantime, in the meantime, I do have two other uh, USB controllers that I got. Uh, one of them is for the NES. Of course, this one does not have enough buttons on it, uh, so we're not going to use that. The other one is a PS2 controller. That one has enough buttons, so <laughs> I can use that just to, sh just to show you as an example. Um, okay. So let's go through the uh, the settings right here for Citra. Uh, general, you don't really have to worry about that. Uh, let's go to inputs. This is where you want to uh, set your mapping for your controller. Um, I have not tried it yet. Let's try it left. Press any key. Um, I don't even know if this controller works, honestly. <laughs> You're gonna click it and press a key. It's not working. Um, okay, bad example. Um, but basically, to map the controller, whatever controller you have, you want to use, uh, you go here, you click a button, and it'll say to press a button on the controller, and you do that so it will learn that button. Uh, let's go through and do that with all of them, uh, and it should save it from from game to game. Uh, I'm gonna just wait for mine to come in the mail before I do it. Uh, graphics, this is some fun you can play with too. Uh, the native resolution is 400 by 240. Uh, the tiny little screen. Um, depending on which Mac you're running it on, um, what year, how fast the processor is, uh, all that kind of stuff. You just want to play around and you want to find a good, a good medium. Um, I'm gonna try 10 times because this is what I did on the iMac and it worked flawlessly. Um, of course I have 2016 iMac, so that could be why. I'm not sure where your threshold's gonna be. Just play around with it, see what you can come up with. Um, audio, you can change the audio if you want. Um, that should be it. So once you are ready to play the game, you can go to File, Load File, and this is where you just select your, your ROM from. So I have mine right here, and I want to try, um, I'll try Legend of Zelda. I've already tried it, I know it works. Click open, give it a few seconds, and here it is. Um, so this computer is not as fast as my iMac. This computer is not as fast as my iMac, so it's not running at full speed. Um, but just for fun, let's try it. So let's go here. Yeah, you can tell it's got a little bit of a lag to it, so you might want to bring it down a little bit, maybe eight times. 
Um, one thing that's cool that you can do also is if you go up here, and we'll try it just for fun. If you go to full screen, and I'll try screen layout, single screen, that's how you get um, just the main screen like that. And yeah, that's not running fast enough. Let's let's switch it. Um, you want to try eight? Well, let's try seven. Let's see what seven does. It looks better. See on the bottom it tells you uh, your speed, how many frames per second. Uh, just slow it down. Seven might work. I might go a little bit lower, honestly. Yeah. yeah I'll probably go lower than that. Um, but now I'm going to show you what it looks like on the iMac as well as the 1080 55 inch screen um, just for comparison's sake and once my N64 USB controller comes in the mail I will be playing this all the way through probably because I do love this game quite a bit <laughs> um, it is a really great game um, and I'll probably be playing some new games that I've never played on the 3DS because I've never owned a 3DS mainly because I don't want to play it on a small screen Sorry, I just don't. Um, also, like, I don't want to have to drive down the street while I'm playing. You know, like, like if you're a kid sitting in the car looking out the window, had nothing better to do. Of course, it would make sense to play a game instead of doing that. Um, but I just don't have time to drive, to drive and play games at the same time. <laughs> it's not safe. It's not safe. So, very cool. Um, so here we go, I'm going to switch it over to the iMac and I'm going to show you those graphics at 10 times the native resolution. Uh, it's called upscaling. So here we go. Okay, and now we're going to take this upstairs to the 55 inch TV and I will try to capture it as best as I can for you. Here we go. So here it is on the MacBook Pro upstairs, running on the 55 inch. I got some crazy glare from the window behind me, uh, but aside from that, it looks damn good for a 55 inch TV. It's a little bit letterboxed on both sides. Left and right side, that's okay. Um, it's running at 100% right now, 30 frames a second. Uh, seven times native resolution so that's playable that's definitely playable very cool All right, well, thank you for watching. This is Dave from Apple Unlimited. Hope you uh, learned something. Hope you get to try it out. Hope it works for you. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, please subscribe so you don't miss any more videos like this. Thanks. Bye.